What up, family? Rick Ross. Got to say, man, it's a lot going on. It's, it's a lot done happened in hip hop. And I didn't expect to see, with a, even when it comes to deaths, that I didn't expect to see with rappers that, you know, I grew up on, right? And when it comes to the Kendrick Lamar and the Drake situation, a lot of people thought it was a game or just a friendly hip hop. This is rap competition. And I was saying that it's deeper than the surface. It be the people that surround people. And what I mean by that is people, when they come to celebrities, fans look at celebrities like God. You had you had people passing out when Michael Jackson used to come. Like Michael Jackson can touch them and they're passed out like they're getting the Holy Ghost. That's just how real it is. It's still that real now when it comes to rappers just on a different level and flavor to where these dudes would sacrifice themselves for clout. To get in good graces to be with these rappers. Now, Rick Ross, throughout all this, been going at Drake. Even with the records that Rick Ross got with Drake, fam. You know, he pretty much been mocking Drake at his concerts and letting Drake verse play out. And said, listen to the nigga Drake. All these different things. Knowing and then trolling him about the beef with Kendrick Lamar. All these different things Rick Ross is beefing with a lot of different people about him. If you notice, he went for a minute. He wasn't on that level. It was just 50 Cent. You know, they was going back and forth. But it seemed that Rick Ross is putting his nose. Now, fast forward, family. He go over to Canada knowing this is Drake land. You can see in the video footage, Man, take one on Rick Ross, fam, while they out arguing and beat his bodyguards down. I mean, it was a bit. They were letting them know, man, you and you and I on, on, on our side now. You, you know, this candidate, we, we really get down. Now, if you have not seen this video already, they beat Rick Ross. I mean, they got down on his people. It, it was, we never seen Rick Ross in a situation like we seen Rick Ross in the situation. Now, this could have went totally left. Ross could have got killed. Ross is getting too comfortable moving around thinking that he the boss man. And I keep telling y'all when it's over with, it's over with. Ain't nobody the boss man but God. It's just going to show you right here, uh, fam, that even Rick Ross got the dark cloud over his shoulder. And when you got the dark cloud over your shoulder, the devil be on your back and you will lead yourself in a situation of death, fam. Not even knowing. Thinking you doing the regular thing like going to the cookie shop with dog. Thinking you doing the regular thing like Mo3 did, just going to visit uh, this female. Thinking you doing the regular thing after uh, beefing with Drake and going to Canada and doing the show. And you could have lost your whole life. This is a wake up call, fam. And the thing about it, Rick Ross went back to his social media and pretty much mocked in the situation, showing the bell out like he good. Got his homies on the plane. They talking to the private jet. They talking about wing stop, all these different things. Like none of that ain't never happened. Everything in life is a warning sign. And if you don't pick up on them because it's too much been going on in Rick Ross' life, he's been doing too much beefing and you getting too comfortable, homie. This is what I'm trying to say. A lot of you artists, the artists that have got killed in um, the hip-hop industry, niggas in the street, excuse my language or whatever, dope boy that got popped, they got too comfortable. And anytime you get too comfortable, fam, you can kind of be looking forward to a, a demise on some level, an ending to what you got going. Rick Ross thinking that he's bigger than the program. It's no way that this these people you supposed to been out there arguing and going back and forth with people like you was out there doing. Everybody standing around. Who do you think you is, fam? Because you done got this private jet with Rick Ross on it. Cause you're doing all these annual car shows. You've been in the you've been in the game multiple years. You got it out the streets. 
You took your, 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 your dope boy. Don't you know how many from the real Rick Ross? All these different, uh, uh, don't you know how many people, Rose, you can, any, all of y'all going to have to pay for what you have just like I had to or any other street dude. Nigga, you got to change at a point in your life. You can't keep doing the same thing. Don't you know how many dudes done went to prison, federal, listening to your leadership in your music and trying to portray the life that you had going on, fam? It's a lot of hurt souls, Ricky Rose. And God is allowing you to get in other venues, do other things with wing stops and dipping and become the J. You, you acting like you got the game from Jay-Z, but I can't tell you going backwards like one of the street dudes that's just not getting in the game and, and doing this thing, fam. It's it just like I see now. Like, my, why do you wait till you get 35, 40 years old to start going to jail and going to prison? It don't make no sense. And you got dudes out here like that. They, the older they get, the more they have an image for people. And it's supposed to be vice versa. I don't understand. This could have went totally different. And I'm not wishing nothing bad on no rosé or nobody. But it is what it is. We got to start looking at the facts of life, the facts of God, fam. Anybody in their right mind, anybody, think about this. When Dolph got killed with all the beef that was going on, he was in a foreign will with his type paint on, with the army paint that everybody know in the city when they see it. And he know he got beef all the way across it and says, and he go to a cookie shop. I'm saying this is because this is the same thing that Ross is doing, just in a different, he going to what, a, the same thing that Biggie said, he going back to Cali, he got killed. You understand what I'm saying? He know his beef there, his beef in Canada with Rick Ross. Them was Drake soldiers, mean and fam, they ain't got to know Drake from a can of paint. They just want to get in good graces uh, uh, with Drake. And would take your life in the mix of this. Rick Ross going over here trying to chase the bag. He, would, he, could, he couldn't let that hundred grand, whatever he got paid for the show to 80. He couldn't let that go. He had to go over there. And then the thing about it, they running. This at the end of, the ending of the club. They running the Kendrick Mark. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. And then it popped off after then, fam. Now, that's just totally disrespect moving on a banana peel. And I'm going to tell you this. Them demons jump, homie. And what I mean by that, the shit that you around, the people, whatever the case might be when it comes to social media and you beefing with all these people, yeah, they demon going to jump with you because you in a, you intertwine in this talk and conversation and beef with these people, fam. The tongue is powerful. You can talk your way to the jail cell. You can talk your way on death. You can talk your way into a bag. You can talk your way into a getting a good wife. You can talk your way into a good or bad life. What I'm trying to say, and it looked like Ricky Rose is beefing his way, fam, to the graveyard or uh, to the jail cell. Because it, you one of the only few, you ain't, you done, you've been missing the jail. Only thing people said about that before you've been with being a CEO is it. You're not exempt from this program, Rose. Them dudes could have killed you and the people that was around you, man. Y'all check this video out if you're not. And you got to start taking accountability. You still wanted to come back on a private jet like everything is just all good. I'm big boss. Ricky Rose, this stuff. When you going to have a soul for our community, fam, and what's really going on in this violence, I'm sick of you fake. For real, man, OGs, rappers, CEOs, whatever the case might be. I'm not saying everybody is perfect and everybody going to get it, but you got to get it. If you get millions of dollars year, decade after decade from our community and you ain't pouring nothing back, you ain't doing nothing that Rollo and them doing, buying up the community, I salute T.I. Because see, one thing about T.I., he know how to turn the switch on and off. When it comes to uh, feeding back our community, what we need, fam. Not all this boss talk, dope boy talk. Because, see, everybody ain't living on that level. 
Yeah, we trying to reach the universe, homie. That's what real OGs are uh, trying to do. We ain't in a segment of people trying to stay on this same level. And Rick Ross, what, 50 years old? Lucky didn't nothing happen worse than what it did, fam. The thing is, I never seen Rick Ross in a situation like he was in this situation. And I can see worse situations, trust me, coming his way if he don't slow down. Not only Rick Ross, but the rest of these artists, rappers, we finna see more deaths. I'm telling you, mark my word. We're gonna see more deaths. Reasons why? These individuals get comfortable thinking that they scar facing gods, man. The money go to their head. So you get to move in reckless, like you can't be touched. And I don't care if you got bodyguards or whatever the case might be around you. We just seen it with Rick Ross. People will reach out and get you anyway. So at the end of the day, fam, I will keep y'all updated on this situation, family. But make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.